need to be classified to either credit expenses or cash expenses. Sorry, sorry for interrupting. Where did you get the ex expense transaction? Okay, on the dashboard here, okay. you'll see expenses. Oh, okay. You click expenses, then you see new transaction. So then it will either be bill or check. So the bill is for credit expenses. So if I enter a transaction on that bill now, it, I'm telling the system that please hold this transaction. I will pay at a later date. So here I will come down and select the supplier. So assuming now that the supplier is not here, this is another way to add a supplier without going to the supplier window. We want to pay an AC technician or we just incur an expenses and the name of the supplier is not here or the vendor. You just add new directly from here. You add the name of the person. AC technician, then the currency is Naira, then you save. So we have that's a quick way to save without going through the supplier window and all that. From here, you just click add new. So it's available on all the drop down in QuickBooks, whether it's chart of accounts or you want to add a product or you want to add a customer. You want to add an income head, you want to add expense head, they are always there because they believe that at some point in time it might be a new transaction with the, chart, with the appropriate chart of account not added, so you can always add it at the point of entry. So, ordinarily, what I'm supposed to do here is just to close this window, go to the supplier, and start adding, but that will be a long process. So, from here, I can always add a new supplier or vendor, then I'll select the name. You can see here bill date and bill due date, so this is an indication. Or when the bill will be due for payment if it's 30 days you will indicate but if it's not important you leave it like that then under the account you see that the expense account will be close to that so then you now look for the expense account now if you're paying the AC technician and you check the expense head and maybe our account name for which is AC repair or repair and maintenance uh -huh. and you look through this and there's nothing like repair and maintenance you can always click that add new you click the add new so add new lets you add an item head faster so you come here expenses and look for the appropriate expenses that describe that transaction let's say office and maintenance then ac repair and maintenance then you click save and close so so saved it already. AC repair maintenance. Then you give it the description amount thirty five thousand naira. Now, if VAT is involved too, you also select five percent VAT. So this will now be VAT on purchases of VAT you're paying on the service providers. It will be different from the one for sale. So if I click five percent here to be added, then I'll come and click save and new. So the window for expenses is also straightforward. All you just need to understand is whether it's a cash expenses or credit work. Now, if you look at this enter view, you will see that below this there is now make payments. So even if I don't click make payments, if I go back to my vendor under under expenses, you can see here. If I go to supplier, even if I go to supplier, show me name of that vendor. Then I will also see make payments, or if I go to expenses, you see make payments. So that's the fastest way to pay that particular vendor or to pay up that bill. So once you click make payments, then to ask you the name of the bank from which that payment will be made. Let's see technician, you can see from which bank you select the bank accounts. Yeah. Then you enter. This is the bill you are paying. Then you click save. And close. If you save and close, automatically you clear this transaction. But if there's any credit with that supplier, maybe there's an advance payment, it will be applied on this amount. Then it's the balance that you pay up. So that's for credit expenses. For cash expenses, which is check, you don't have to go through all this, just go to check directly. Now, the difference between the check and the bill, too, is that on the check window, you will see your bank accounts directly. But on the bill window, there is no bank accounts. So you need to understand this too. So just the way we have, when you just relate it with invoice and receipt, you will know that we have bill and check, credit expenses bill. This is the way we receive your bill. Anytime you receive a bill, it's like oh we have an amount to be paid to someone. 
all that so that's for expenses any question on expenses just go through it and